Welcome to this primer on combining data sets. In this session, I will introduce you to different ways of integrating data sets before we implement this in Stata. Combining data sets is a super useful skill if you want to bring together data from various sources and create one comprehensive data set containing all the information you need for your analysis. Let's dive in. In principle, there are two ways to combine data sets, horizontal and vertical combinations. In horizontal combinations, you add new columns from a secondary data source to your primary data set. In a vertical combination, you add additional rows from a secondary source to your data set. In Stata, you can implement a horizontal combination of data sets using the merge command. Let's take a look at an example. I have my primary data set here in blue called employee data, which contains a firm ID, a timestamp, and the number of employees for each firm here. To this data set, I want to add headquarter information from another data set called HQ data. Each firm ID in the secondary data set has an additional variable with the headquarters location. I could theoretically add this information manually in Excel, but this is likely to be error prone and tedious. In Stata, you can combine these two data sets using the unique firm ID that exists in both data sets. The first step is to load the primary data set into Stata using the use command, for example, use employee data, comma, clear, and then use the merge command to combine these data sets. Before merging, there are a couple of things you need to test. First, you need to specify the logical relation between the two data sets. We already know that firm ID is the variable that appears in both data sets and acts as the connector. By primary data set, each firm ID can occur multiple times, while in my secondary data set, each firm appears only once. For this reason, we need a many to one merge in Stata, which means we specify that the idea can appear multiple times in the primary data set, but only once in the secondary data set. Next, you specify the identifier in your data set. In our case, it's the firm ID, followed by the data set in which you have the secondary data. Once you run this command, Stata adds a new column for each firm ID showing the headquarters location. Theoretically, you could also use multiple identifiers for merging data sets. For example, if you also observe the headquarter locations over time, you would use both firm ID and time as your identifiers in the merge command. Now, let's move on to the second way you can combine data sets, and that is through the append command. In this case, you add further rows to the data set. Importantly, you need to make sure that both data sets have the variables you want to stack underneath each other with exactly the same name. For example, firm ID has to have the same name in both data sets. As long as they have the same name, Stata will automatically add these new rows to your data set in the same column. The command is simple. First, you use your primary data set as the data and open it using the use command. Then you type append using, followed by the name of your secondary data set. The result is a data set with the same columns as the primary data set and the new rows from the secondary data set added at the bottom. These are the two ways in which you can combine data sets and of course you can also run them together. For example, you can first merge data sets and then append data or vice versa. There are a few common mistakes that often happen and that will produce error messages in Stata. One is that the variable ID does not uniquely identify observations in your data set. This can occur if the identifier variable appears multiple times in the primary data set or if it contains missing values. Another common mistake is that the files are not found. Make sure all the files are stored in the same location, are in the correct format, as Stata only accepts its own proprietary format for merging and appending data. Finally, Another common error, error is that a given variable in one data set is in string format in one data set, but in the numerical format in another data set. 
You can solve this problem by converting the variables to the same format prior to appending the data. For further tips and information on how to tackle each of these issues, please see the supplementary PDF file, which you can find in the download section below this video. Thank you very much for joining this session and I hope to see you in our next video in which we will deal with the practical implementation of merging and appending data in Stata.